Council of Elders, today is a very great day in Ezio Bodo Kingdom. We are all very happy today because we are officially handing over our new palace to our Igwe. After 11 years of struggle by the building committee and the entire Ezio Bodo community, God has finally crowned our effort with success. This palace is built for our present Igwe and every other Igwe that will come after him. On behalf of the building committee, I am permitted to hand over the keys to this palace to our Igwe. 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 My esteemed cabinet elders of this land, my lovely queen and lolo, and the heir apparent to the throne, I want to salute all of you. Today is indeed a great day, the greatest day ever in the history of this kingdom. We have never had it so good. For me to inherit such place is not easy by any standard. And. Um, I think I best refer to this as an architectural masterpiece. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm indeed overwhelmed. Um, Igwe, we are not yet through. There is still something we want to show you. Yes. Um, this car here is. Wait, 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 wait. You mean that this car belongs this to me? This is your official car. It belongs to me? Yes. My official car? This is your official eh? car. That I and my Lolo will drive? Yes. My goodness. Eh? Wow. This luxurious this car? This wonderful. Eh? This is wonderful, man. Enjoy for the Quenu. Yeah. Enjoy for the Quenu. Yeah. Enjoy for the Mwonu. Yeah. Patanu. Yeah. Mwenanu. Yeah. Enjoy for the Quenu Quenu. Yeah. Let's talk bless all of you. Yeah. Yeah. Majesty, if we do not open our eyes wide, then we will not achieve anything on that seat from this kingdom. For instance, we have a river where we sell sand. Now, a peep into the records will show that we sell more than 200 deeper load of sand and then we have the boreholes. You know how much we make from the boreholes. And then the markets, all the community markets, all the money that is accruing to the kingdom. Eh? <laughs> so, you have just scratched the surface all this while. Why don't you hit the nail on the head? Ah. I mean, by being explicit, what exactly are you talking about? Thank you, Your Majesty. Um, you are the Igwe, and whatever you say stands. I believe that we shall keep a certain percentage from all funds accruing to the kingdom. Um, say perhaps 50% um, for our own upkeep and uh, the other 50% for, uh, for the kingdom. All you have to do is call a meeting of all the elders, elders of chiefs. Tell them what you want to do. But remember, the sharing is just between you and I. Hmm? 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 <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I've called you three times. Are you out of your mind or something? Or 
How dare you suggest to me that both of us will share the resources of this kingdom, which my great grandfathers did not do? Huh? I, I am indeed disappointed in you. I am disappointed in you. I am very disappointed in you, no. Your Majesty. Is everything all right? Very all right. By the way, where have you been with the prince? Oh, he was playing outside. Hello, bring him. Hello, my prince. How are you? How are you? Fine. Good boy. One day, you're going to sit on this throne, eh? Okay? Thank you, my Majesty. All right? Do like this, okay? Hmm? Okay. That's my, that's my son. Huh? You can now take him away. Thank you. Go with mommy, okay? Good. Tell daddy bye. You are my very good friend. That's why I personally made you Onowu. If, for instance, something happens to me, perhaps I drop dead and maybe go join my ancestors right now. You are the next person to take over the administration of this throne until the prince grows and becomes of age to take over the throne of Ezioburu. Now, is it how you're going to administer this throne for the people of Ezioburu? Now, listen. If you must be a leader, they must show exemplary qualities of a good leader. That people will pray and respect you. I am sorry. The driver will have to go out later. Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Okay. I want to talk to you. Your Majesty, do you have any problem with Onowo Ranusi? No. Why do you ask? I overheard you when I came into the palace this afternoon quarreling with him. Oh, that's the usual palace misunderstanding that crops up once in a while. Did you say palace misunderstanding? What is it, if I may ask, that made you so angry? It's uh, no, his sudden greed and avarice. Imagine him suggesting to me that um, both of us should divide the entire revenue that accrues to this community into two equal halves. What? How can he say a thing like that? Well, I'm sure from the way I spoke to him, he would never attempt saying that to my hearing again. Not in his lifetime. My goodness. Your Majesty, this is serious. What does he want? Does he want to ruin your reputation? No, far from that. The Ono who I know is not that kind of person. Maybe he's a victim of circumstance. He may have run out short of money. And the only easiest way for him is to suggest such <laughs> funny method. And why must he involve you? No, not to worry. I've taken care of that, I can assure you. Sorry for what I said yesterday. But 
I have come to realize that you are indeed God sent to this kingdom. There is no problem whatsoever. You are my best friend, my no. When I'm not there, you are there. And um, I've forgiven you for whatever may have transpired in the process. But let me leave this with you. That whatever position you hold in society or in life, try and be a leader and not a ruler. After all, if you say that to be a leader, you must be a good follower. That has been the kernel of my success. That has kept me alive till date. Your Majesty, oh, your advice always inspires me. It stimulates me. It encourages me to forge ahead. <laughs> uh, oh, ah, your Majesty, um, there was something you said yesterday uh, that um, if for any reason I mean, you joined your ancestors uh, today, then I, Ono, will administer the state the entire kingdom um, until your son comes of age. Now, wait a minute. Do you have a problem with that? Oh, no, no, no. Not at all. No. Nothing is going to happen to me. God forbid, nothing like that will, ev will ever happen. It is just that um, we have to be very careful, Your Majesty. Uh, who knows? There might be some people who might be eyeing the throne. Nothing. None of them will succeed even if I die today. Exactly. Your Majesty, exactly. That is exactly what I said to them. But I think we can make it more forcefully. If you call all the Council of Chiefs and tell them exactly what you have just told me. And then any other person or persons who may be nursing the ambition of coming to that seat will find it is futile. Elders of our land, I greet you all. I want to make this announcement. I called you because I have this important announcement to make. It has come to my notice that some of you here are in this throne. But let's not forget that we have a tradition and culture. That even if I join my ancestors now, it is only the heir apparent to the throne that has the legitimate right to take over this throne as the Igwe of Israel. And so, whoever that is thinking towards that direction should wake up from his dreams. And see a tonique. And see a tonique. If I may ask your majesty. Yeah. Uh, uh, who amongst us here is the person planning such evil scheme against you? Because from the history of this our town, is the Igwe ship belongs to the Ezeneas alone from time of the ancestors, very far. And your majesty, no individual or family has the right to seek for the Igwe ship. Is that not so? Yeah, it's about it. It changed. It changed the way. I don't understand what is wrong with both of you. Why on earth don't you allow his majesty to always finish before you jump into his, his, his throat. But you know, they have not said anything wrong. Really? They, are, they merely expressed their opinion as oh. members of this cabinet. Oh. And so this issue of interruption does not arise at all. Um, please, Your Majesty. From what you have just said now, that one of us is I, you are 
throne. Please, can you mention name? No, I don't think it will be necessary for His Majesty to name any names at the moment. And we don't want to start looking at one another suspiciously. All I would like to say is that we should always use our tongue to count our teeth. In view of the ongoing, I hereby make my pronouncements. I hereby pronounce that in the event of me joining my ancestors, even now, or no who seated here will automatically assume the administration of this throne. And in holding trust for my prince, the heir apparent, until he comes of age. This is my pronouncement. Your Majesty, I'm surprised at you. I mean, how can you say a thing like that? My goodness, how could you trust Onowu with your throne? Or do you believe that that man has your interest at heart? Lolo, I don't even understand you. All I made was an announcement. And come to think of it, I'm still very strong, healthy, you know, and nothing will happen to me, not in the foreseeable future. Your Majesty, I am not saying that anything will happen to you. I tell you, do you know what that announcement will cost between you and your cabinet members? I mean, all of them believe that you no longer trust them, that you are not suspecting them. I mean, how could you do a thing like that? My God. With your majesty, you know how long we waited before the gods gave us Chibuzo? And you know Chibuzo is the heir apparent to the throne. Please, I want you to be very careful. Please. Oh, Miriam, our ancestors were take care, no problem. If I may ask your majesty, who told you that someone is eyeing the throne? Oh, no one told me that in confidence. Hi, no one. Oh, no one. And you believed him, your majesty?
to be devoid of joy and laughter and their death agonizing and shameful. to tell us that somebody from nowhere just appeared and shot the Igwe. Why did they not shoot both of you? Oh. Ichi, mm. I don't know anything that happened to the Igwe. I don't know. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, does any of uh, you other boys know anything about this matter? No. no. I have no. something to say. Good. What is it? Now I remembered two nights ago. I saw the Igwe shouting at Ojuku, which after he walked in very angry. I saw Ojuku eyeing him, biting his finger. 
and also left in annoyance. I did not know what actually was the problem. Then, yesterday, you was shot. Mm. 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 Ojuku, is it true that our Igwe Ezena was shouting at you two nights ago? Ichi, it is true. But it was just because of one mistake I made the other day. Honestly, Ndichi, I don't know anything that happened to His Majesty. Um, um, elder, sir, uh, listen. Uh, even if he knows, we don't expect him to tell us uh, the truth. It's not possible. See, eventually, we are going to take all these boys to the chief priest. To swear to an oath. Uh, I, I, I don't think that will be necessary for now. But I think the first thing we should do is to bury our Igwe. After that, then we can think of the next step. Oh no. Oh no. I don't agree with you. Sincerely, I don't. We are talking about Igwe. A whole Igwe of Eziobodo Kingdom. The burial should wait first. We should get to the root of this matter and find out those responsible for this dastardly act. Um, 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 let's not uh, go that way. Let us actually uh, bury the... I don't think that what you are saying no, is no, correct. No, no, no. Remember, no, 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 no. See, we are talking about Igwe. We, we, know, know. we know. We have to follow, and so we have to follow the custom. We, and we must consult. We, 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 we follow the custom. We have to consult. Yeah, uh, elders. Elders. One fact remains at this moment. And that is that the Igwe is no more. But we can continue to mourn him forever. <laughs> Let's not allow a vacuum to stay in the leadership of Ezio Brotow. What are I trying to say? I'm trying to say that the Igwe who departed declared in this palace that in the event of him dying, the owner wish to take over reins of affairs of this kingdom until his son, the prince, will come of age. So what are we waiting for? Uh -huh. That cannot happen. It will happen. Let me tell you. No. Uh -huh. Even if it will happen, uh -huh. not now. Uh -huh. We are talking about how to take these boys to the chief priest for oath taking. And you are talking about something else. Your name is Zimuzo. But you cannot Zimuzo on this matter. Don't remember the custom demands that we must consult the chief priest first. Yes! Before taking any such. Um, my fellow elders. If I may suggest, let us secure Eziobodo Kingdom first. We can do the oath taking later. 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 Hmm? Huh? We can do it later. Hey. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. ah. The chief priest is here. Um. Uh, let us find out why he has come. You all are here planning the installation of our new Igwe. Barely two days, Igwe Zenna was killed. Let me warn you. You all If you don't want the anger of the gods to descend to this kingdom, don't do anything. Don't! Till I finish consultations with the gods of the land. Our people say, Opala, Opokoburu, Nte, Nte, Chiria. A word is enough for the wise, indeed. And 
Monsieur Tony Kerr. Unexpected visit. Your Highness. Uh, you did not invite us to the palace, but uh, you should realize that this palace belongs to all of us and the entire people of Ezubu. Yes, Your Highness. We, the Council of Elders, have every right to visit the palace anytime. Anytime. Yes. Yes, you are quite right. Um, yes, you elders have every right to come to the palace anytime, either day or night. Now, I would like to know exactly why you are here, because it must be very important for you to come this early. Uh, Your Highness, it's about Lolo uh, Dibugu our late Igwe's wife. We are concerned about where she is going to live with her son, Prince Chibuzo. At least, Your Highness, for that morning period. You know, you elders, you surprise me. Why do you ask me such a question? You are all here. When the late Igwe said that if he joins his ancestors, that I will take over the administration of the throne until his son comes of age. <laughs> the prince and his mother are still the owners of the palace. My stay here is only temporary. They are still the owners of the palace. They are here and they will always be here. Igwe. In a few years now, you will become a man, child of destiny, eh? Exactly. <laughs> a king in the making. Yes. Your Highness, Lolo, his food is ready. Okay. Ah. You mean the prince's food? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Your Highness. Let me go and pick up my of course.
make sure there are no mistakes. Yes, yes, Your Majesty. You call me Chief of Guards. Your Majesty is here. Your Highness, you sent for me. Yes, Chief of Staff. Now, I want you to go to Law Lord Dibugu's apartment. I want you to tell her that I want to see her first thing tomorrow morning with her son, the Prince. Yes, Your Highness. What do you mean by uh, someone attacked you last night? Your Highness, honestly, I don't understand. I was sleeping on my bench when some people heard me on my back, covered my eyes and mouth, and tied me up. It was this morning that the chief guard came to my room and uh, untied me. Your Highness, I didn't see her anywhere in the compound. What do you mean by I didn't see her anywhere in the compound? What about the prince, Hassan? I, I didn't see the prince either. Your Highness, we searched everywhere and we couldn't find him, Your Highness. What is going on in this palace? You mean as many as all of you are? None of you can give an account of the whereabouts of the Lolo and the prince. Huh? <laughs> Uh, Chief Guard. Lolo. Who did you say attacked the gates, man? Honestly, I didn't see anybody. Mm. I was shocked this morning when I went to the gate and saw the gate man tied up. And you, Ikema? We did not see anybody. Jesus Christ. That means I am not safe in this palace. Uh, no, no. Don't let us come to that conclusion that something has happened to Lolo and, and the prince. Uh, let, let us wait till evening. If by evening we don't hear anything or any news, uh, then we can think of what next step to take. And until then, all of you, let us start playing. You better start praying that nothing, nothing has happened to Lolo and the Prince.
My God. I'm in trouble. First, it was Igwe's in there. Now, Lord of the Bugle and the Prince, who is doing this thing to me? My God, please help your son, Ojuku. Ojuku, you are the chief guard in this royal house. You've heard what these people said. The maiden said they saw you entering into Lolo Jibugu's apartment. The time they were leaving their own room to enter the same apartment. Uh, Ikemba and Obiupu said that they saw you coming out of Lolo's apartment. Is it true? It, yes. But... And that same night, the gate man was attacked. Though nothing was stolen from the compound. Hmm? Igwe, Ndiche, honestly, I don't know what is happening. I don't know. Uh, uh, fellow elders, I think we've uh, spoken well enough. Um, I don't know if any of you still has a, a thing or two to ask any of the guards. Yes, my question still goes to Ojuku. What is your job in this palace? My job in this palace is to make sure that everything in this compound is safe and well protected, including Igwe's household. Good! So, we are our Lord and the Prince, the heir apparent to this kingdom. Where are they? Uh, you don't want to talk? Ojuku, the night before the Igwe died, he was seen shouting at you. Then the following day, we heard he was shot and he died. And now, the priest and Lolo are nowhere to be found. Oh, you. Uh, uh, uh. Who are you? And what is your mission in this palace? Skimo, ask him. My fellow elders, I think we have all spoken well. Let's now hear His Majesty. Your Majesty. Ojuku should be taken to the palace holding cell and held until Lolo and the prince are found. Take him away. Igwe. Igwe have no sense. Igwe have no sense. Take him away. Igwe have no sense. Monsieur Atonike. These young men. Your Highness, these two young men said they want to see you urgently. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Your Highness. Highness. So, what can I do for you? Your Highness, my name is Onochi and this is Ikemefuna. We are from Uburu village in this town, Your Highness. You're welcome, my people. Thank you. So, what can I do for you? Your Highness, that's a problem. A very big one for that matter. Hmm. What kind of problem? Your Highness, we were coming back from Amako here town this evening. On getting to the boundary between Amako and Ezeobodo, we saw the corpse of a woman lying by the bush side. And when we looked at the corpse very closely, 
We found out that it was Lord of the Bigu's corpse. What? Yes, Your Highness. We found Lord of the Bigu's corpse. That means she is dead. Lola, we found Lola the bugle's corpse. Ah! You did what? Yes, Lola, we found her corpse. She's dead? Kidnapped him, might have killed him inside the bush. <laughs> Elders, let us go inside and plan for her a befitting funeral. Make arrangements for her to be prepared. I want you to send some guards to go and get as many youths as you possibly can. Take Ojuku to the village square and stone him to death. Sure, you killed the prince. Why didn't you bring his corpse back? Your Highness, we killed him. In fact, I killed him myself. You know, the place is a very dangerous place. Maybe the corpse might have been eaten by wild animals in the bush, Your Highness. Are you sure of what you're saying? Your Majesty, we did our job very well. There's nothing to worry about. Very well. You may go. I don't trust those boys. But I think I know exactly what to do. <laughs> oh, at last, my family is the royal family in Asia. <laughs> and ah, the Ezenas have run out of male children. <laughs> Oh, 
I am His Royal Majesty, Igwe Titus Oranusi. Onyere Pome One of Ezebodo. I invited you here for a meeting I consider very important. Uh, Your Highness, what is it? Don't be in a hurry. Let him finish. Well, I called you here for three reasons. One, I want to make you rich. Two, I like both of you and I want to do business with you. Three, henceforth, you will call me Your Majesty. Uh, no, Your Highness, Double Majesty. Majesty. Double Majesty. <laughs> yes. Hit the nail on the head. Dissect it. Let's hear the details. Uh, yes. As long as I remain the eager of this kingdom, all resources generated, 50% of them will go to the community, and the other 50% will come to us. Uh, please, Your Highness, ah, sorry, Your Majesty, don't be offended. But if I may ask, who and who will share this money? Uh, like, how many of us are involved? Just the three of us. Just the three of us. <laughs> and 60% uh, for me, and 40% for the two of you. Your Majesty. No, no, with double Majesty. It's all well and good. 40% to us. Yes, but if I may ask, why don't we incorporate Ichi Ezimuzo and Ichi Thomas? You know Ichi Ezimuzo is the chairman, Community Development Committee. What? Answer what? What if I change him and make you the chairman? Huh? Yes, and you the vice chairman. Huh? Huh? In that case, let's carry on. Your Majesty. This bag here contains 190,000 naira, half of the income of the community, which is our share for three days. Why don't you share the money and, and, and accordingly and give me my own share? 60% um, for me and 40% for the two of you. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Your Majesty, let me say this. Uh, Ichi Ezimuzo and others are very angry. Very angry. In fact, he is instigating the youth to embark on a riot. Uh, are, you, are you trying to tell me that Ezimuzo uh, is planning to fight me? No, Your Majesty, I didn't say fight, I said riot. And if I may suggest, uh, why don't we forgo this share of the community's money? Just give me my own share. Let me have it. But, but I mind. will deal with the Muda later. Yes, Igwe. Yes. <laughs> Now speak and drink. I, 
he came back will not say, talk or tell anybody what happened to Igwe Ezenna, Lord of Dibugo and Prince. If I do, let me die. Give it to him. I, Hubuku, would not say, talk, or tell anyone what happened to Igwe Ezena, Lolo Dibuku, and the prince. If I do, let me die. Now listen both of you, anything done alongside with his majesty in this palace must remain a secret. On no account should you discuss or tell anyone, else you die a horrible death. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You look so gorgeous. Thank you. How are you today? Sit, sit. Let me get you an orange. Let me help you. Don't worry, I'll do it for you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, princess, immediately after your traditional marriage, you will accompany my son to the United States. <laughs> Lola, who am I? Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome, you. I just pray. I meet up your son's expectation. You will. You will. <laughs> Maidens! <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. This is Princess Tessie. She is my son's wife. Henceforth, the four of you will be her maidens. You are going to be responsible for her. You follow her wherever she goes, take care of her needs. You will be at her beck and call. Is that clear enough? Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Now, you and you.